Hey, yo, what up, everybody? It's Matthew, my Real Life TV 505, and I'm here just kicking it today. i um, going to do a strain review with y'all. So, I don't know. This year, I'm going to take a little bit of a different step with my strain reviews and my dispenser reviews, do something a little bit different. Look, y'all, when I do these reviews, basically, all I'm really doing is going out there to show you the things that are available to patients if you're feeling some, some sort of way. Like me, myself, I deal every day on a daily basis with chronic bone pain, um, muscle spasms, and I also deal with neuropathy, and I deal with PTSD, I deal with a lot of stomach issues, and all this is brought on by a lot of my, my disease that I have. Um, so, I'm always constantly trying to find ways to alleviate my pain and enhance the quality of my life. Um... And using traditional prescription medications just weren't doing that for me. They were tearing me down, breaking me down, making me crazy, making me want to kill myself, and even cause me to accidentally overdose sometimes. So, that's why I do these reviews. Go around these dispensaries, show you what types of flowers are available to help you alleviate some of the symptoms and side effects that you may be feeling, either from your diseases or other medications or other illnesses. Um, like I said, I, I've taken the... I've taken a different step with these dispensary, with these strain reviews. So I'm going to show you guys different options. There's plenty of options out there. Um, I've learned a lot over the last year when it comes to dispensaries. And all I got to recommend to you, if you're a new patient coming into the New Mexico Medical Cannabis Program, do your research on every dispensary. Educate yourself. Seriously, educate yourself and do your, and do your research. And the reason why I say that is because you will know who is for the patients and who is not. And if you do know who's for the patients, then you will need to support those who are for patients. Because me, myself, when this legislation came through, I'm not big on recreational. I'm not. I'm sorry to disappoint a lot of people. I know a lot of people hear the word recreational and they go, ooh, wow, recreational, yay. No, don't get excited. It's just a propaganda word. Don't get excited about it. It's nothing special. You don't want recreational. This isn't what you want. If we go recreational, you can have a shortage of plants, a shortage of medication. Um, you're going to have a higher tax. You're gonna, it's going to be harder on patients who do rely on medical cannabis as their medication as opposed to using traditional prescription pills or whatever the fuck you want to call it, over the, over the counters, whatever. Keep this kind of consideration in mind. You do not want 20% tax on your medication. Um, you know, I'm not for the, I'm not, I'm just not for recreation. I'm really for decriminalizing um, because I'm not with the regulation and the taxation. I'm really not. I, I'm not the most well educated person when it comes person when it comes to political things, but I do know what I see when I see it, and I do see that the laws that are being passed are not going to protect patients. So keep that in mind. We need personal production, we need to open up licensing, and we need we need to get more options out there for patients to medicate with quality medical cannabis because we're tired and here let me tell you something about being a cannabis patient. Being a cannabis patient We've always been lied to, you know what I mean? Like our gen, especially my generation, it's something I feel like we've always had like the blinds pulled over us. They've always tried to tell us something that it's not, you know, they always try to tell us, scare us away from cannabis. They try to tell us that it was going to ruin our lives and make you a worse person and this and that. And cannabis has done nothing but it enhanced my life. It's made my life better. It's made me feel better, physically better. It's made me spiritually better. It's made my life better. And it has no, in no way, shape, or form caused me any harm to my life or anyone that I even know unless you were to use it or abuse it in a certain way. And um, that's just being irresponsible on an individual part. You feel me? So that being said, this, this, this is our medicine, bro. So I went to San Diego Botanical. Let me just, before I get carried off on tangents and shit like that, I haven't medicated today. I'm wound up. Uh, you know, I'm irritated, irritable, and I wanted to wait specifically to do this review to make sure I had it medicated. You know what I mean? That way I know how this stuff is going to hit me, how I know it's going to affect me. I need creativity. I need uplift. I need to feel happy. I need to feel motivated. And the reason being is that I suffer from a lot of PTSD. I'm not going to go into specifics about it. You can pay attention to my channel, watch some of the videos, you'd understand. But because of my PTSD... I need to calm myself down, calm my nerves down, because if not, my stomach gets upset, my nerves get worked up, my muscles start freaking out, everything starts aching, my mind starts freaking out. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know, y'all feel me. You know because you go through this too. So don't try to act like you don't. We all, that's why we patience. So check this out, y'all. Let's do this review. 
So I went over to San Diego Botanicals. Great place. Hadn't really been there uh, too much in the last year, just mostly because of the whole coronavirus thing. I wasn't too sure about the whole drive-thru issue, but that drive-thru issue is no issue whatsoever. It's smooth. It's quick. It's efficient. The employees, the, the bud tenders are amazing. They're, they're, they're based, they're on it. They're on their game. They're, they're, they're organized. They're working like a, a well spun clock. You know what I mean? All the gears are just falling into place. So good job to Sandia Botanicals out here in Albuquerque off of Comanche. So if y'all looking to go get you some Sandia Botanicals, jump on I-25, coming out to Albuquerque, jump I-25, get off on Comanche going east, and you'll find it there on your right-hand side. You'll see the Sandia Botanical signs. Um, pull into that drive through there. Just kick it. Make sure you wear your mask because that's how they're going to serve you. They'll come up to your window. They'll show you a menu, whatever you may need. Or Tom, however you're feeling, whatever effects you're needing, and they'll help. Whatever they'll help you out, right? So when I went through, I told homegirl, I was like, hey, "Check it out, man. I need. I've been doing. I've been getting real physical. You know what I mean? Trying to keep my body moving, trying to stay in motion because a body in motion stays in motion. You let your body hold still, you're gonna die. You're gonna die if you need to stop moving. You feel me? So I've been doing a lot more physical therapy, trying to keep my body in motion, trying to keep my muscles and my bones from deteriorating any more than what they have from this fucking disease. So. Homegirl told me she has something that can help me with my pain and still keep me motivated so that way I don't feel sedated because I don't want that. You know what I mean? I want to be able to ease my pain and still be able to carry on through my day, be creative, and be be active. So she hooked me up with some Mach 4. That's right. I asked her for a gram of some Mach 4 here. The Mach 4 is Chem 4 crossed with Jet Fuel Gelato. Woo! And I love me some Jet Fuel and Gelato. Gelato, I like a lotto. You feel me? All right, so check this out. This THC content, and don't pay, I don't really worry about percentages, but I'm just going to share it with you anyways. I don't give a shit about percentage. But this one right here is at 20.46% THC. To me, I don't care about the, the THC. I care about your terpene profile. And that's what matters to me because the terpene is what's going to help benefit me, not your percent. I've had shit that's been 13%, and because it was such a good terpene profile, it gave me the exact effect that I needed. So don't be misled and don't be persuaded by marketing percentages, all right? These these percentages that you see up here, 30% and you're paying $14 for a gram, that's marketing, homie, and you're just getting burned, all right? And if you're not used to smoking that kind of percent, you're going to freak yourself out. So check this out. Let's check out this. Check this shit out. Let's just pull this shit out. Woo! Oh, it smells so good. Aromatherapy. I don't know if y'all paid attention to my last video with the cannabis witch, but aromatherapy, dog. Oh, it can just alleviate so much of your problems just by having this uh, 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 this aroma, this smell, and the terpene in here. You can smell that aroma. That's why sometimes even homegirl said, cut open, cut open the lime, smell the lime. Cut open a, a, an orange and smell the citrus. You know what I mean? Get some lavender and break it up. Smell that lavender. Smell that rose. Take some time and smell the motherfucking flowers. Oh, shit. That smells good. All right. So let's check it out here. I know I just got, like, I just got out of grams. Just going to roll it up and smoke it with y'all. But I'm going to check it out and show it to you. I know cameras don't do no fucking justice for what the fuck we be smoking on for real. I mean, unless you got one of these really fine ass... Big old pixelated professional cameras. I can't show you shit on my phone. So I'll explain it to you. This bud right here is beautiful. It's nicely trimmed. It's nice and lime greeny. It's got plenty of orange on the inside of that. And I could just see trichomes glistening getting stuck onto my fingertips, man. It's frosty. Nice and green and frosty, bruh. I should have took a picture of this for y'all. I probably still can. But check it out. That's right there. That's that Mach 4, right? So I'll get y'all a picture of that. Check it out. All right, so we're going to break this up. I'm going to roll this up a joint. We're going to try this out, all right? All right, so check it out. Not only did I just, not only did I get that Mach 4, not only did I buy Mach 4, but I also got me something bomb. I got me a pre-roll. I got four-pack pre-roll right here, and it's called Northern Skunk. And that's Northern, that's Northern Lights crossed with Skunk number one. Now, me personally... I'm a huge fan of Northern Lights. Always have been ever since I was young. So the first time I tried Northern Lights. There's just something about it. Skunk number one has become my personal favorite in the last two years. Especially because of the terpene profile that Skunk number one carries. It's got a very relaxing terpene to it. Where it kind of alleviates the stress of your minds and melts it away. So you can focus on 
on some more funner things. You know what I'm saying? Skunk One has also been known to be a great libido for female. So another thing that just erases what's on the mind and helps you be in the moment. So this one here is testing out at 28.4% THC with 0.12% on the CBD side. Me personally, I love CBD. So the higher the CBD with my THC, the better I'm going to feel. All right. So I also picked me up some BHO Shatter. Some garlic cookies, you know, I figured why not pick up some BHO Shatter, you know what I mean? It's been a minute since I've had any. It's chem dog crossed with a form of Girl Scout cookies, of course. So this is testing out at 79.62% THC. So I'm going to give a dab of this too while y'all kicking it with me. I'm going to try it out, see what it feels. These are going to lean more toward an indica side as to where the Mach 4 is more toward a hybrid side. So I'm going to go ahead and break this stuff up now. Mm, this shit smells bomb as hell. Can't wait. I'm telling you, bro, the aromatherapy. Now, I was sitting there and I was, oh, man, look at these orange-ass hairs. Bro, oh, this bud's going to come out bomb. Can't wait to smoke this with y'all. I even forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by how pretty it is. It smells bomb. Okay, so I was saying aromatherapy. That's right. So when I did it with the cannabis, which aromatherapy, dude, break up your butt. <sighs> Fuck, bro. Shit smells bomb. Shit smells bomb. Anyways. So I'm going to roll this up here. One thing I've been working on learning, I've been working on how to learn how to do tips. Shout out to the homie Rob Jet Jet. That motherfucker could do tips like a motherfucker. So holla. Me, I'm just learning. I'm not no professional at rolling no fucking tip. But I've just been starting. It's not so bad. What you do is you just take like a little end like this. And you just start kind of folding it over. And then you fold it back in that same shape. See that? And you just fold it back. Fold it back and then you fold it back one more time. You can fold it back as many times you want. Make a design if you want. See, so this is just basic. Make a little M for Matthew, my real life. And then you just roll this shit up. Kind of tight feeling, you know, and then I just kind of like pinch it and shit like this. Get it real nice and tight, kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you put it back in the paper, it might open up just a little bit. Get your paper. I like to fold it like this. See that? That way I can hold my weed in it. You put your weed in it. All right, scoop it up. Drop it in. Mmm, smells so good, so good. Mmm, I can't wait. I cannot wait to smoke this shit. It's gonna look like a freaking club watch with a big old amount of weed in it. Let me just even this out. You want to spread it out, even it out a bit. So that way you can roll a good joint. You don't want a big old fat pagers. Mine, not, mine might come out a little funky. But we'll find out, right? All right. Mm, damn, dude, I just cannot get over how good this shit smells, dog. This shit smells bomb. All right, look, it came out with a little fatty, baby. Yeah. I like smoking fatties. Mm-hmm. Boom. And that's your tip, dog. That's your fatty. A la erga. A la erga, cholo. Anyways. So we're going to light this bitch up. Oh, I bet you my ass. No, I did. I did remember my lighter. I bet you my dumb ass forgot my lighter. I got it right here. Look at that shit. Mm, I can't wait to smoke this. So anyways, y'all, go out, check out Sandia Botanicals. I heard they just got one down in Crucis, dog. I'm proud of them. Good. Crucis needs some good smoke down there. But um, this is that Mach, Mach 4, all right? Don't y'all forget. Sandia Botanicals, Mach 4, Chem 4, cross with Jet Fuel Gelato. Yeah, that's nice. That tastes good, y'all. So, think about it this way, bro. Our healing that's coming from this plant is so much deeper than just what we see on the surface. There's so much chemistry and science and energy that's inside of this plant. It transfers into you, and that's what makes you feel better. So lighting up, smoking a joint, this is like performing a spiritual ritual, dog.
this is good actually this is nice so the taste let's see so the taste <coughs> it's a uh, Mm. it's not exactly like how it smelled the smell of it was a whole lot different than the taste the taste is not bad it's actually very subtle mellow smooth kind of just like me it's not bad it's some good smoke though I like it. It's going to help to alleviate pain and uplift the spirit, which is why it's a hybrid. So the, the sativa part is going to give me the creative side, the uplifting. Now the indica side will give me more of the relaxed feeling for my muscles and bone aches. Mm. I'm going to have to find out the terpene profile of this flower because this is some good shit. And it broke up nice too, y'all. Real orange, like orange, fine too, like fine orange hairs, lime green. It didn't powder. Um, the smell of it when I broke it up, it like really broke up that terpene and gave me that aroma. And it's even like hard to explain it. I'm telling y'all, it's pretty, it's pretty legit, pretty legit shit right here. This is a pretty good. <coughs> this is a pretty good flower. I would probably buy this one again. All right, well, that's that Mach 4. So, now the Northern Skunk, I've had this one before. And like I said, it really, I like it because it's a very, it's a, it's a great indica, man. It's, it's fucking fire, bro. Like, it doesn't knock you on your ass, but like I said, it relaxes you. It erases anything out of your mind. It, like, eases your mind so that way you can literally be in the moment. Which is why I enjoy smoking the Northern Skunk because... To me, that is a flower that's going to put you in the moment. You're going to get, like, regardless of what it is you're looking for, you're just going to be, you'll be there. You know what I mean? You'll be here. You'll be present. And nothing else will matter. So that's my take on the Northern Skunk. And that shit tastes bomb. So two of my favorite strains sitting there, Northern Lights and Skunk Number 1. I had to pick that up. Like I said, I never really worried about the percent because I know the terpene profile in that shit is, is stellar. Damn, this is good joint making me all. Blah, 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 blah. This is that creative mode. <coughs> now I'm more about halfway through the joint. I'm getting more flavor. It's feeling a lot fuller. Like, I can't explain it, man. Citrus. Very, kind of like a citrus and sweet. Like a sweet citrus taste. Bomb. Give it a shot, y'all. So, while we're still here chilling, I'm going to bust this out right here. Right now! We're going to bust out some BHO shatter here, homie. Open this up. BHO shatter garlic cookies. I, myself, I love garlic cookies as well. It's another great string. Let's see if I get this motherfucker open. Yeah, y'all don't want me to get my medicine, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <coughs> Ooh, I haven't seen some shatter like this in a minute. Can't smell it all the smoke from my face, dog. <laughs> That's nice. Smell just like garlic cookie. So check this out, homies. That right there is that BHO shattered garlic cookie. Now that is something that I haven't seen like in a minute. I haven't picked up me some shatter in a minute, bro. I've just been I've been gifted a lot of different things like rosins and batters and sugars and shit like that. And no complaints whatsoever. Thank you for the gifts, homies. So 
what I'm gonna do now though, I'm gonna take me a dab and try this shit out. Check out, I got my like, naked lady nectar. See that? She got them curves, and I got my another naked lady. I like naked ladies. All right, check this out, though. Just give this a shot. Dang, that tastes good right away. <laughs> Gotta get some air up in this car for real. <laughs> but that shit tastes bomb as hell. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm only coughing so much because the car is fucking hot boxing. But damn, that fucking shit. As soon as I fucking took a just a dab of that immediate flavor, you could taste that garlic cookie instantly. Instantly. And then on the exhale, it tastes even better. <coughs> Damn. I think I hit my spot. Mm hmm. Think one more dab, finish off that J. I'm going to be on my way. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a good day. Woo wee. Woo wee. Let's do one more dab here. That's dope. That's dope. <coughs> Thank you, Sandia Botanicals. Woo! <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Sandia Botanicals. Thank you. Y'all hooked it up. That was bomb. Woo! Gotta get some air up in here. Gotta fan myself off, dog. Get some. Woo. Yeah. All right. I think that says it for itself, homies. I think that says it for itself. That's Sandia Botanicals. Thank y'all. Man, that Mach 4. That's that Chem 4 across the Jet Field Gelato. Bomb ass joint. <coughs> I can't even tell you that fucking that fucking dabs are dope. That BHO shattered garlic cookie. Good job, Cynthia. Good job. That shit is bomb. Now I got my, my four pack pre rolls here, my Northern Skunk. Take this to enjoy my day. Oh man. Gotta catch myself here. Anyways, bro. So be sure to check out Sandia Botanicals. Get in there, see what flowers they got. Tell them how you feeling. They butt tenders are so knowledgeable, they're gonna get you hooked up exactly where you need to be. Alright? So make sure that you uh make sure that you check them out. Sandia Botanicals. Um out here in Albuquerque, off Comanche, just going east on Comanche from I-25. You'll see the Sandia Botanical signs, dog. Fuck, look at me, I'm all fucked up. When I first showed up out here, I was sober. Like, fuck, dog. I was needing my medication. And my medication hit the spot. Thank you, Sandia Botanical. That's it. This episode of My Real Life TV 505. Peace.